So I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, you know, I'm going around YouTube and I'm trying to learn about the the Prius uh, Prime as best I can. And I'm telling you, I don't think you're going to get any better than my videos. Because basically all these people do is just do a walk around and they tell you, oh, Oh geez, the, the 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 lights on the front look okay, you know, and 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 we got the uh, the plastic here that looks okay, you know. I'm trying to teach you about what is mechanically important about the damn vehicle. So, and 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 I'm I'm getting ready for a three thousand mile trip. You know, are these other people that uh, do prime videos? Or, I mean, are they really like you know? doing anything to to take the vehicle out and just destroy it like i'm going to do no hell no so the latest uh question that came to my mind was the b the b mode so you know you've got the shift position purpose uh uh basically you know if you, if you look on and if you watch my videos, you'll see that, uh, that there's the shifter. It's right on the front of the vehicle. So you got the P, which is parking the vehicle, starting the hybrid system. You got reverse. You got neutral. You got drive. But the, the big question for me was, what was B? <laughs> what was B? And uh, because I am going to be going over some mountains and I'm going to be traveling down some some crazy uh, uh, inclines. So what the B mode is applying engine braking or strong braking when the accelerator pedal has been released on steep downward slopes, etc. So that's what the B mode is all about. So, like, you know what, if you're out driving the, the Toyota Prius Prime, you know, this is important information for you to know. And here's a little star for you. It says, for good fuel economy and noise reduction, the D position should be used. Duh. <laughs> I can't believe they even put that in the manual. <laughs> oh, are you going to drive with, you know, are you going to drive it in the B position, you know, if you're not going down a mountain? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know where these people come up with the, the, the this crazy stuff in these manuals. Um, you know, we, we could get into a lot of stuff. I'm just going to make a real brief video because I just want you to understand. I mean, so let's look at, uh, let's just take the damn glasses off. Let's think about what has been done to the Toyota Prius Prime uh, and me getting ready for a 3,000 mile trip. Okay, uh, basically, you know, I got rid of the cloth mats and I put in the, uh, the, um, the Toyota Prius Prime mats. And now I, I well, WeatherTech, I mean, you know, I like their mats, but at the same time, the dealer for $35,000 threw in the Toyota Prius Prime mats. Um, they're actually pretty good, so I'm, 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 I'm not going to argue there. Uh, I'm going to tint the windows, all right, so that I'm going to get uh, basically about 92% UV protection so that my arms aren't going to get sunburned as I'm traveling for 3,000 miles. Um, so that's that's the next thing uh, and, and we're gonna have a good video on that so I hope you guys are gonna stay tuned uh, I, I got to call them tomorrow and find out hey you know because we're getting up to the date I mean August 1st is when I'm going in uh, with with the vehicle and uh, so they're gonna they're gonna do the whole uh, film over the front um, they're going to tint the windows. They're going to do everything uh, to get that vehicle armor proof. I mean, I like I said, if I could bulletproof the signs, <laughs> you know, I would. But I can't. I can't. You know, there's. It, it would be too too heavy. You know, to bulletproof the doors. I mean, only the president can drive around in an armored vehicle uh, with with bulletproof doors. Um, what what's some of the other things that we've done? So we've talked about gas, right? So, am I going to burn the, the uh, Shell 94 octane gas? Yes. 
yes, I, from, from this point on, that's, that's what I'm going to put in it. Guys, I've been 700 miles in the car and I've only burnt one half a tank of gas. So do I want to put the premium octane in there? Yes, I think you should. Okay. So, uh, so that, that's another thing that you might want to consider doing for the Toyota Prius Prime. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just armoring the vehicle up. I'm trying to get it ready for a 3,000 mile trip. And I hope you guys stay tuned to my channel because I'm guaranteeing you it, things are going to get real interesting in this country in the next uh, couple, three months. Uh, you know, while I'm up helping my mother, that's what this trip's all about. But also, you know, I want to visit some friends in Michigan. I'm going to I'm going to be traveling through the UP. I'm going to you know, we're going to put 3000 miles on this car. It's going to be interesting. So I'm just trying to educate you about everything that that I think is important to know about the vehicle. I mean, this this brake mode, I mean, you know, coming down mountains uh, in, in the B position. Uh, and also, you know, guess what? I mean, the, 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 the beauty of the Toyota Prius Prime uh, is, is it recharges <laughs> the battery. So it, as I'm coming down the mountain, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining electricity into the battery. So, you know, everything, everything about this vehicle is, is energy efficient. Um, anyway, so let's, that's it. We're done. Peace out, guys.